I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Leave it to best to enter an online sweepstakes and wind up winning a five-day vacation in the Bahamas. Naturally, she invited her cousin George and me to go with her, and naturally we said yes. As luck would have it, Dad and I have to go to a father-daughter banquet on the day the vacation begins, which means I'm going to have to arrive a day late. But the ecotourism resort where we're staying sounds very cool, and the island is so remote you can only get there by float plane. White sand beaches, turquoise waters, and tropical sunshine, here we come! There it is! Red Isle. It looks so small. It'd take you a while to get anywhere down there on foot, I can tell you that. Unless you're super athletic. How often do you fly charters out here? Your two friends, the ones I flew out here yesterday? They were my first passengers in weeks. Pretty isolated, huh? Granted, a lot of these places shut down during the summer on account of hurricanes. But even when it's not storm season, I guarantee you, that island down there is pretty much a ghost town. There's George. Hi, slow down. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, hey, hold on. George? Stop. No, don't go. Stop. No, come back. Come back. George, what's wrong? What are you doing? trying to stop him. We need help. Why? What's happened? Bess has been kidnapped. And when I woke up this morning, Bess's bed hadn't been slept in and there was no sign of her. She never came back from going to watch the sunset. Here's the note the Gibsons left. I knew I should have gone with her, but I was just so tired. This is all my fault. It is not your fault, George. The Gibsons, they're the people who own the resort? Yes, but there's no sign of them either. And here, here's the note I found from the kidnappers. They obviously knew you were coming. It sure looks that way. Wonder who El Toro is. He was the Spanish captain of a fleet of seven ships that sank near Dread Isle about 300 years ago. There's something about him in those books over there. Have you seen anyone else on the island at all? No, but then we really didn't have time to explore yesterday because we arrived so late. And I've been in here ever since I found that ransom note. I've been trying to get this satellite phone to work so we can call for help. So far, no luck. I feel so useless. You can do it, George. Just keep at it. In the meantime, I'm going to look around, maybe go out to this Sangre Beach place. Bess took the only golf cart that worked. That one that's still here needs water or something. Anyway, keep me posted. This closet has a pretty sophisticated lock on it. Probably to keep out nosy guests. Oh, no offense.
Hey, I found some walkie-talkies. We should carry one with us at all times. That way we'll always be in touch. Here. Thanks. Good idea. This scuba gear might come in handy. Good thing I'm up to date on my diving certification. There's a map in here. That's weird. What is? I've solved the case in every spot that's marked on this map. You think the Gibsons have been keeping tabs on you? Kinda looks that way. Probably just a coincidence. Looks like this thing needs a battery. Looks like this needs to be put together. Stranger danger! Stay back! It's okay. My name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Cuckoo's my name! Talking's my name! Cuckoo, that's weird. You look just like this bird I met in England named Lulu. Grandma Lulu! Pretty bird! Pretty bird! Grandma Lulu! Cuckoo want a cracker? Monkey see, monkey do, cuckoo want fruit! Fruit! Monkey see, monkey do, cuckoo want fruit! <laughs> okay. It freaked out like that with me too. Probably tired of eating bird seed. Cuckoo want fruit. You've made that painfully clear. I'll see what I can do. Locked. Maybe the Gibsons kept the key at the front desk. Have you got something? Yeah, the sneaking suspicion that this whole thing, the contest best one, the trip here, the note from the Gibsons, I think it was all just a big ploy to capture one or both of you so someone could force me to find this treasure for them. That's so diabolical. Who would do something like that? Someone who knows I like to solve mysteries, maybe? Great. That narrows it down to what? Everyone who reads the newspaper? Nancy, you've solved mysteries in practically every corner of the world. <sighs> You're right. The only way we're going to find out who it is... ...is by finding Bess. No problem.
Have you by any chance seen the key to the shed outside? I've seen a key. I'm not sure if it's the key. Here, try it and see if it works. Thanks. Anything else? I need a 9-volt battery. Have you come across any? I'll keep my eyes open, but you may be out of luck. I'll see you later. Keep me posted. Must be where they store the sails. Should do it. Who are you? Um, my name's Nancy Drew. What are you doing here? I'm looking for someone. Who? A friend, Bess Marvin. She disappeared last night. There is no Bess Marvin here. Look, do you think you could let me down? It'd be a whole lot easier to talk if the blood weren't rushing to my head. Ow! Sorry. But that's her shoe, and the golf cart she was driving. Are you sure you didn't see the people who kidnapped my friend? I was fishing last night, far down the beach. I see no kidnappers. I hear no kidnappers. Didn't you look around after you saw her golf cart? I do not see this cart until just now. Have you noticed any footprints or car tracks? Anything out of the ordinary? You ask too many questions. My name is Johnny Roll. I am from Kingston, Jamaica. I have come here to fish and to be alone. When I'm tired of fishing and being alone on this island, I will go to another. That is my story. There is no more to say. How come you're so intent on being alone? 
That is my business. Why do you ask all these questions? I just thought you might need help. I do not need your help. And I am not alone on this island. There are monkeys. They like to steal things. What they cannot steal, they destroy. One day I find them in my boat, tearing up whatever they can. As I am chasing them away, one bites me. These monkeys are dangerous. They have ruined the motor of my boat. I cannot go anywhere until it is fixed. That is why I set the snare to catch them before they do more damage. There are other people on the island as well. There are? Where are they? Who are they? Tell me everything you know. I only see them sometimes when I am fishing. Always from a distance, moving through the trees. Three, maybe four men. They do not bother me, I do not bother them. But if this changes, as you saw, I am ready for them. What about a phone or a two-way radio? Do you have one? I have none of these things. You go now. I can tell you nothing more, nor can I help you. I'll go, but I'll be back. You can pretty much count on it. Do as you like.